When we talk about the increasing importance of early child care, the field of medical research is benefiting from all the attention. In recent years, particularly in Ohio and a few other states, there's been an expansion of newborn screening so that we now are able to detect over 30 different disorders, whereas just uh, as recently as three years ago, Ohio was only detecting five disorders in children. Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital is also where another new program has been created to specifically help children's emotional and physical development. The Center for Chronic Conditions of Childhood was uh, formed in 1998, 1999, um, through a grant from the Cleveland Foundation. This is the rescue medicine for when I have attacks. We have a, a lot of success with asthma and diabetes, and we want to continue to help children and families with other illnesses. We have expanded into the area of obesity through Healthy Kids, Healthy Weight. The Healthy Kids, Healthy Weight program at Rainbow is aimed at early diagnosis of problems in young children, but it's the first program to treat the entire family for the problem of obesity. We decided that uh, we need to have a program to help them uh, and help them lose weight and uh, help them prevent the long-term problems of being overweight. The Smitch family is one of the first to enroll in the pilot phase of the Healthy Kids program. Last fall, Abby was having some panic attacks and some anxiety, and um, I was talking to the pediatrician. She said, you know, I just went to a meeting and heard about Healthy Kids. She's like, I think it would help Abby have a more positive self-image of herself. I was kind of happy because I wanted to do something so I can eat better and stuff because I didn't feel good about myself. Experts believe that if the problem of overweight children isn't tackled earlier in life, we as a society are in for big problems. Right now, I think we are just seeing the beginnings of an epidemic. And if overweight continues as it is right now... All right, go ahead and step on. In another 20 to 30 years, we are going to see major changes in the age at which people have heart attacks ages at which people have arthritis and uh, other long-term uh, illnesses, including diabetes. So, Dominique, how have you been since the last time I saw you? Good. The Center for Chronic Conditions of Childhood offers individualized plans for children with many conditions. All right, can you come on over here and help me out? And the service is free of charge. So, what zone should we start with? Which one do we always start with? Green zone. Helping children stay in school reducing emergency room visits, and generally allow them to enjoy their childhood. Children like eight-year-old Dominique Dothard, who was born prematurely and, up until she came to the center, struggled to control her asthma attacks. It's scary because you never know, like, how fast she can go from okay to bad. Up to half of childhood asthma in urban communities is undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. The terror of having asthma and not being able to breathe affects many of our children. Today, students can administer their own medical aids and know how to recognize when breathing is becoming labored and what to do about it. Dominique is undergoing a refresher course along with her mother before going back to school. This summer is the first summer she has not missed a day of going outside. So it's like now she's like feeling normal again.